along on Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. Every once in a while, you just gotta relive a classic game, and for us, that game is DOOM! One of the best first-person shooters ever, Doom premiered in 1993 following a lone space marine on Mars who has to fight off demons from hell. It's as bare-bones bloody as it gets, and it kicks ass to revisit it again. And it's about to get a whole lot better! What you got there, Devil Horn? Doom the movie, the game? Is it any good? It has to be. The movie had the rock and R rating and rapid gunfire. Ooh, the three sacred R's. Did you ever see it? No, but a friend of 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 a friend did. And? He didn't like it. But it's the game version. What's to screw up? Did you ever play Street Fighter, the movie, the game? No, but a friend of 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 a friend
You got a problem with that, Duke? Me saw it's hell no. I love my job. But I was just five seconds away from retirement. That's literally retirement right there coming towards me with my future beautiful wife and kids. Oh well, I guess one more mission is gonna kill me. I mean, is gonna kill me. I mean, why can't I say the word isn't? He's joined by soldier John Grimm, played by Carl Urban, who acknowledges his sister is on the Mars station that they're heading towards. How long's it been? 10 years. Sure she's even still up there. It's not that, he's just terrified of space travel, remember? Some tiny crack in the hull and our blood boils in 13 seconds. I may throw up on you. Joke's on Judge Dredd, Aomir, and Scourge, be ready. You could be needed at any time. I guess you gotta face your demons sometime. It's Doom's idea of symbolism, huh? You know, it was gonna be followed up with. I think we should be more environmentally safe. I'm just feeling so down. Afraid I might chicken out. Can this thing go to ludicrous speed? They do their expendable pose and go inside the Uak facility. Uak. That's the sound Bayou Billy makes when he dies. <laughs> So it turns out the portal to Mars is the exact same as Galaxy Quest. Cartoon splooge consuming you and physically throwing you to another planet. Yeah, word of advice, if you can see the Great Kazoo traveling the same way, it's probably not gonna be taken that seriously. <laughs> and here we are, Mars. Looks exactly like the set we were just on. Like, no difference. By God, you changed the light bulbs and suddenly you traveled through space. Ooh, ooh, let me show you my rocket ship. I'M IN SPACE! But it looks like not everyone who used the portal, or arc travel as they call it, had a successful ride in the past. He went to one galaxy, his ass went to another. Unbelievable as it may seem, UAC does make the odd tiny mistake. How did nobody make a Uranus joke? You're so bad, it's good writing card, please! They quarantined the area, which apparently means creeper immunity is temporarily lowered. We're under a level five quarantine. So I am just gonna have to strip search you girls. <laughs> Rapists! They come across Dr. Grimm, who was assigned to retrieve data from her lab. We really don't have room for passengers. I have orders to retrieve data from three servers. This is a military operation, Doctor. We're really not here to retrieve or assign some work. Listen to my eyebrows. They know what they're talking about. Is this gonna spoil my day? No, sir. Tell me you didn't let a fine looking piece of ass like that get away from you, Reaper. I know he's talking about her, but his eyes are on the rock. Tell me you didn't let a fine looking piece of ass like that get away from you, Reaper. She's my sister. No shit. The rock's your sister? You think you know a woman. So, I'll give credit, they get to the gun hunting pretty fast. Again, making you think they're gonna just jump right into the action and gore. But it might be hard to see, as apparently this lab doesn't believe in any goddamn lights. And no, it's not that they're out, there are literally no lights to be found anywhere! Why do scientists in movies never want to see their science? Meanwhile, John hangs with his sister so they can pointlessly pick her like, well, whiny siblings. Oh yeah, meet Lucy. Lucy, this is my brother John, another creature from the long lost past. Thanks for protecting me while I do my research, ass! This is Lucy's chromosome profile. My molecular genetics is a little rusty. What's the first thing Dad taught us to look for? His beer? Does it ever bother you? You could have spent your life looking in a microscope instead of a sniper scope. I don't even get why they hate each other. This is the backstory we're given. Reaper's parents are the first team of archaeologists to hold a vibe. They died in some accident when he was a kid. She followed in their footsteps and he didn't. So why does that mean they attack each other every other second? Their parents are dead, but they're both doing honorable work. Maybe they're in a contest for who can do the most awkward American accent. She's got 24 pairs of chromosomes. We found no genetic disorders, no viruses, no cancers. So what, they were just naturally superior? See, the earliest remains we found only had 23. We're bloody brilliant Americans, we ours! Bioengineered. It's a long word for a marine. Again, thanks for the protection, dick! Okay, the music's amped up. Now we're getting some action! Fucking door's been ripped open. There's something in Carmack's office. You think? The giant hole in the metal door draws that conclusion quite clearly, you dumbass. Don't move! Ooh, Newt has not aged well. Dr. Carmack, it's me, Samantha. Come on, guys, give him a hand. <laughs> no regrets. They recognize him as the doctor, but he's clearly not well, Mike Tysoning himself. Guy like Carmack? He tears off his own ear? Shit like that that gets under your skin, though. <laughs> Gotta love those Marines that undermine one another. Do you have any? I'm just a little shook up. I need something in my focus, man. 
Oh, and get high mid-mission. I took his name in vain. Oh, every act of taking the Lord's name in vain by carving the Lord's name in veins. Hey, Morton Joe had a more balanced army. You okay? Did they find the others? Not yet. My husband's with them. I'm sure Steve's fine. Who's Steve? Who are you? Maybe this is Steve. Maybe he'll finally give us some good action. Or he's dead. Well, Alright, there's something in the vents. That has to lead to some badass violence. <laughs> Monkey! What was that? A monkey. God, they even tried to take something so obviously lame and try to make it sound intimidating. What was that? A monkey. He took me through his monkey rap. Once again, something moves, they shoot, and rock music comes back for a couple seconds before turning completely off. All units, all units, southeast corridor near the med lab. And once again, that didn't go to shit, so let's come back to the scientists we're out of nowhere supposed to care about. With your daughter. I want to stay. Steve's gonna be okay. The guys looking for him are the best. That's right, the pervy, drug taking, cross carving best. Are you high? What? <laughs> you know, you should go just to get away from them. The Van Gogh inspired doctor disappears while our Marines continue to search for. friggin' anything. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Portman, what the hell happened? I fell in the damn hole. Everybody on me, watch your goddamn footing. Watch your goddamn footing! Finally, they come across something supernatural. Hey, Georgie. <laughs> but again, the action is friggin' short as it just takes a bite out of Crosscutter and they lose him in the lab. What the hell's Carmack? He disappeared. What do you mean he disappeared? Well, I was gonna radio you guys to let you know, but... Things. Actually, the funny thing is, as people are getting worse with the virus, the scientist seems to be getting worse with her acting. She slowly starts to slump in some very odd line delivery. Oh, God! That was like the gamut between extreme reaction and absolute nothing in only a second. Oh, God! Oh, God! Her lead in delivery wasn't that great either. You were gonna tell me just what the fuck is going on up here! What? Spoken like a degree-carrying professional. What? Huh? What? Duh? What? Blah? While the soldiers search for answers, the scientist is left behind with her bubble wrap door. Duke? Duke? Ah! Hey, hey, hey! It's just a power switch. Of course! Why should a movie based on constant badass firing have anything but stupid fake outs and lame short jump scares? Damn straight, and we're getting sick of it! We're gonna shoot the shit out of this movie and its spin-off game. Let's kill. Ah! Evil is gone! Look over there! Ah! Oh, no, no, it's just a fallen DVD case. Fallen DVD case, False everybody. Alarm. Why was I there? Ah! Oh, no, it's just a drugged out guy who's carving crosses into his arm. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, we're completely safe with you here. Yeah, yeah. Right. He'll be okay. He'll be okay. Yeah. What was over there? Ah! Oh, no, it's just air. Oh, my. Air, everybody. Classic. This is very exciting, though. It is. It's like 19% exciting on Rotten Tomatoes. Whoa, whoa, look at that! Just the cameraman. Sorry. Duke gets attacked by Pumpkinhead covered in pasta, but they stop him in the bubble wrap door. Thank you for saving me, cock! Ooh, this window contains a flashback. Could you keep your backstory down? I'm going over my lines for my Hannah Montana cameo. They got me doing some weird shit. In case you're wondering, by the way, this backstory goes nowhere. Yeah, it's like focusing on Batman being allergic to cats. I guess it's kind of interesting, but it doesn't further a goddamn thing. So they keep searching through, somebody make that cannon. So they keep searching through the labs and again come across a threat that just quickly runs away. Moving fast out of the thing. Thank you, what do you see? It's big. Very big. Moving fast. Back towards the lab complex. Lord knows numbers aren't used by the military or scientists to describe how big or fast something is. It's big. Very big. But there's another big thing. Even bigger than the last big thing. My god, a big thing even bigger than the big thing that was bigger than the other big thing. Big! Dr. Hines is more exact than you! But it looks like the cross cutter from before is not quite dead set. 
My god, I'm so religious, I'm Jesus. And again, just when you think a cool action scene might take this guy out, he takes his own freaking self out. Goat knew he was turning. So yeah, as you probably realized by now, this is just a lame-ass zombie film that's more ashamed to use the word zombie than The Walking Dead! Regardless, they do at least try to work in a weapon from the game. One of the most famous guns of all time, the BFG. Oh yeah, they know to build this shit up. The BFG is such a testosterone enhancer, every gun starts to look like a dick. You're a lucky person if you find someone who looks at you the way The Rock looks at the BFG. It looks badass, it fires awesome, and as we all know, BFG stands for Bioforce Gun- SHUT UP! SHUT THE FORCE UP! You're an R-rated movie! Hell, you can get away with saying it even once in a PG-13 movie, and you go with that shit? Are you kidding me? Next you'll be telling me STFU stands for Silly Teletubbies Find Unicorns! I should not have to tell DOOM to grow a pair! But screw it, if it gets the job done, it gets the job done. After two more men are killed in the dark where we can't see a damn thing, Rock comes in with the Bioforce gun to take care of business. Oh. <laughs> that guy's dying. I guess I'm a crazy character or something. Here we go! Fire that sucker! And? I mean, okay, it looked cool, but it was one shot. And I don't even think he got the thing. Is that it? Is that it for a while? Really? So, um, not to ruin the dumpster fire of surprises that I'm sure are ahead of us, but, uh, how many more times does he use that gun in this? You know, why don't you just call it Big Friendly Giant? It'd be about as intimidating! I bet the jackasses who wrote this are the same jackasses who thought this is the most six Earthbenders could do! Hell, they both have rocks in them with no personality! The connection is too freaking clear! Oh my god, my god, my god, my god. Okay, so Rock drops off two more dead bodies and once again tries to get some answers. What are you people experimenting with up here? I told you, it's an archaeological research center. I'm on a diplomatic mission to all Duran, shithead. And like I said, the scientist's acting seems to get squeakier and squeakier. What were you sent to protect? The research data! Tell me about this human emotion called human emotion. It looks like they were experimenting on criminals, and now the experiments have gotten out of control. We are never going to do human studies. Chromosome 24. I'm in a movie. If he perfected xenogenesis. Don't you get it? It's this place. It's hell. It always was. Oh yeah, you heard that correctly. This is hell. As in, symbolically hell? That's what we want to see in a Doom movie! A place so crazy it reminds people of hell! But not really hell! Just like hell, it's practically the same thing! This is the equivalent of telling your children, Hey kids, we're going to Disneyland! That is, I'm gonna smack you on the head until you see cartoon mice and stars to wish upon! But it's like Disneyland! I nailed this. Now you call if you need help, okay? I'll be alright. I'll be fine. Thank you again, twat! Oh, I do hope there's rock music that starts up and instantly disappears. Uh. Shit. I got through. This movie has so little action, the rock music is actually used for running. Not fighting, running. Whenever they run, that's when the music comes in. How pathetic is that for a Doom movie? Look, there's the monster, let's get him! Oh, wait, no, it's just my own projected sense of self-worth. Symbolic hell! Ooh. But one of the monsters seems to have gotten through the portal back to Earth, so they have to return to... Yeah, you guessed it, the exact same set to look over the damage. Because they know the dead come back to life, they spend most of their time excitingly shooting already dead people. Doom! Look out! They're not moving! I don't think everyone is infected, or even capable of being infected. Okay, did a robot write and say your lines? How come these two are never in the same room? They discover a room of family still alive, but The Rock doesn't want to take the chance and says kill them all. Wait, what? They're okay, they're just scared shitless. We kill them all. 
I think it Son, you don't think! My God, sort him out. Okay, okay, look. Um, I'm actually open to the idea of The Rock playing the villain in something, but... Doom? The movie where he holds the BFG is the focus of the poster and it... Doom? This is the one you want to try that out with? Okay, look, Rock, you're a badass and everything, don't get me wrong, but... You're also kind of adorable. Yeah, look at that, look at that, he's just the cutest little thing. Oh my god, look at the smile, he's yeah, always oh, doing the eyebrow thing. Oh, that's so menacing. Oh my god, look at him now, he's just so funny. <laughs> Mutinous insurrection is punishable by death. Um, okay, this is apparently what we wanted. I don't need anybody else but soldiers! Let's, um, look at the scale of how much that was earned. Yeah, pretty low. Could you tell me what the point of my drug subplot was? <laughs> more zombie, not hell demon, whatever's attack. And the rock gets caught among them. <laughs> I'm not supposed to die. See, even he calls bullshit on what they're doing with him. I'm not supposed to die. I mean, did any of you read the manual about how to use your rock? I don't die, I'm not boring, and weirdly enough, I don't kill kids! It's up to Bland, Dipper, and Mabel now. Just listen to her emotional concerns. John, stay with me. Stay awake. John, stay with me. You're bleeding to death. So this is our Dorothy, right? We just... May want to act in movies, and now we learned our lesson. She gives him the disease because... Apparently, if you have a good soul, it'll make you super strong and not corrupt you. Yes, science! It seems to work, though, as for a movie that tried so little to be like Doom, it suddenly overcorrects and goes to a first-person point of view trying to look exactly like the game to a ridiculous degree. <laughs> Okay, somewhere in between nothing like the damn game and just the damn game, there's a damn movie. Please give us a damn movie! But again, because it's not actually hell, he's just shooting zombie scientists. Ooh, look, that was the wheelchair guy. So anytime you saw a monster that looked like him in the game, that was always meant to be the same wheelchair guy. All of them. They're all this wheelchair guy. <laughs> the hell was that guy's plan to charm him to death? You can't resist my smile, asshole! <laughs> wow, it's just like the game! Except I can't control anything and the story's completely different! But if Jem saying truly outrageous suddenly makes this authentic, we got this! Last man standing, Reaper. He comes across the rock who is of course infected, but he tells him he has one last round in the BFG left. I've got one round. Well, they better make it goddamn count. <laughs> Just call this a prequel to Roger Rabbit. It makes no sense, but it's a more satisfying connection to the game. They get in a fist fight because, again, Doom is really known for its fist fights. But at the very least, they can give us a big ass crazy monster version of The Rock. You know, maybe one of these guys or something. You can have fun with this idea. What's his final form? <laughs> You just changed his eye color and teeth. That is exactly what I imagined the final boss in Doom would look like! A were rock! Are you really gonna have me say something positive about this? I really don't want to say anything positive about this! He throws him in the portal back to Mars and sends a grenade with him. Like the kids said. Go to hell. Lord knows this movie isn't willing to do so. He grabs his sister and heads back to the surface of Earth. Almost home. Almost. Completely missed the mark. Tomato, tomato. And that was Doom. Or so they tell me. You would never guess by watching it. I guess to its credit, they get a few details right. Like the backstory in the game is about a space marine disagreeing with his sergeant because the sergeant wanted to murder the innocent. And there was a portal to Mars as well as scientists doing evil experiments. But taking hell out of the equation is like taking ducks out of ducktails. It's a friggin' big part! 
As an adaptation, it goes from unfaithful to too faithful, and as a standalone movie, it's just a generic and forgettable flop. There's not much character, there's not much gore, there's just not much doom. And if there's anything doom shouldn't be, it's friggin' boring. Now I'm not gonna stop until we pay the doom game the respect it deserves! Hell yeah! We're gonna wipe out everything associated with that dumbass movie. You in? Gun me, you magnificent bastard! Oh, sorry, sorry, what, what, one sec. Oh my god. I, I, th this thing came off when I... You really ruined our groove here! Should go there, okay. No, I, I sorry, g give me a minute. You said a second. It's a minute now! Oh my god. Got it. No, no, I, okay, it doesn't really stay on, but... Just... Let's roll! <laughs> That awful movie. There's the game based on the movie based on the game. Done! There's that piece of shit script for the film. I am Chris Geller. I was the dental technician on the movie. I'm the Nostalgia Critic, and Doom should never be dull. What was wrong with my dental tech? Fell in the damn hole. Hey, Doug Walker here doing the charity shout out, and this week we are doing Engender Health. Engender Health works to improve the health and well being of people in the poorest communities of the world. They do this by sharing their expertise in sexual and reproductive health and transforming the quality of health care. They promote gender equality, advocate for sound practices and policies, and inspire people to assert their rights to better, healthier lives. Working in partnership with local organizations, they adapt their work in response to local needs. With more than 65 years experience in the field of international sexual and reproductive health, InGender Health currently supports projects in dozens of countries around the world. If you look at their site and their YouTube channel, you'll understand why they're the leading global women's health organization committed to working toward a world where sexual and reproductive rights are respected as human rights. Click on the link and see what you can do to help so many people have safe and wonderful futures.